Hello and welcome to this speed edit of a product image. Uh, we're going to take this raw image here and turn it into this final image. So starting off we're going to jump into Photoshop and from there and open up a number of images, five separate images. I'd normally use uh, the Photoshop uh, method of focus stacking these images but for this case it didn't turn out very well. There was lots of artifacts so what I did was create layer masks for each of them and then just paint back in the different sections for the areas that are in focus. Uh, the total of five images managed to get the full wand in focus and then just refining the layer mask around. From then on I uh, took the pen tool and the pen tool is used to make an accurate selection all the way around the product. Uh, it does take a little bit of time, a little bit of time to get used to the pen tool, but it's definitely worth it because you get a really clean outline all the way around. Big attention to detail here because this is going to make or break the final image uh, in terms of if you can see any of the lines around the outside. So make sure to cut just inside the object just so that. Uh, you make sure you get a, a nice clean selection. So it's just finishing off the selection with a pen tool, adjusting a few of the points, put a 0.3 pixel feather on that, and then duplicate the selected portion, and then we can start cleaning up. This one, the image was photographed vertically and hung using fishing line, so I'm just using a combination of healing tool and clone stamp tool just to take out those little areas of the fishing line. Any little specks of dust, all the tiny little imperfections that you can't really get rid of in camera, just go around and clean them up. I was working methodical manner to make sure that we take care of all the little defects, specks of dust, little marks, stray reflections, that sort of thing. I was trying to get as much as I can right in camera, uh, but no matter how well you clean a product, you're always going to need some of this. Lots of people have different methods of how they use this. I always find that clone stamp and the healing, uh, the spot healing brush uh, always work very well. You can use a patch tool sometimes, but it really does depend on what areas you're trying to clean up. So that's pretty much all the cleaning done. Next one is to make a selection around the logo. Um, use a colour select and then refine the edge and just use a curves lever layer just to brighten that up. Uh, just saving the image there, just make sure we don't lose anything. Just reposition it using transform and then a little liquify just to straighten out the cable. So now we've got the product in the right position. Uh, there's a bit of a yellow cast to the wand portion so I decided just to put a black and white adjustment layer with a layer mask and then paint back in the rest of the colour. Left this for all the black 
and white sections of the product just give it a nice contrast a nice clean look from here I am just darkening down the text on the screen there uh, just using a simple curves layer and again a layer mask just painting back in over the numbers you could try using color select but on this case there was too many grays that were too close to actual numbers to make a nice clean selection just use a curves tool there to boost the contrast now next portion there is a, a nice gradient across the one there but I looked to increase it just a little so using a separate blank layer and uh, just drawn a gradient on transform the gradient and then drop that back on top once that's on there again it's basic layer mask just to paint out that gradient from the rest of the product there we go from there just want to take the final size of uh, the final image so cropping uh, extending the canvas slightly and then here we have the full size image again a little boost in contrast just with uh, curves and then just bringing out the details in some of the switches again using a lay mask here's the pen tool to draw uh, a curve and then fill that area with a gradient using a radial gradient here uh, it takes a couple of attempts just to get the one I was kind of looking for and gives a nice gradient across the image and again matching the colors from the product itself here we have a brush of a nice big swirl uh, one easel transformation and then again layer mask using a selection of the cutout itself to make it appear like it's swirling around the product Next, just going to create a little bit of a background. Use a, a custom bokeh brush um, that I've made and adjusting the brush dynamics and scattering just to get the kind of look I was going for. Once that's in there, just feather them off from the right hand side using a gradient on the layer mask. Again, same thing again, just some smaller brushes, dropping the opacity to help them blend in. Here is pop a little starburst in again another brush and just dropping that in behind the product you several brushes here uh, often layering these sort of brushes makes it look a lot more realistic as you get a nice gradient across them so one on the right hand side and then put another one on the left again popping these behind the product layer to make sure that the none of the product is obscured by it painting back in over on the lay mask after I extend the canvas and the next task is to use a selection of the curve that we've got just to have a nice coloured stripe so take the selection fill an area with colour with it and then just move that selection down and a little transformation to make it sit correctly at the edge of the image There we go. And there we have it. Final image, all nicely grouped up together. Fine little clean and tidy. Again, using the healing brush and a little bit of clone just to take away some of the small defects. A little bit of contrast. Uh, using dodge and burn, using a curves dodge and burn layer again using the selection of the product itself just to keep that within the bounds of the product and not bleed onto the background a little bit of brightening in the centre and we're done here's the final image